So you have a toothpick stuck and, in you. Yeah, this was done around five years ago. Okay. And it uh, went to ultrasound to see if it was there. Mm -hmm. They didn't find anything the first time. Mm -hmm. So for the next five years, it was the toothpick stuck in my leg and the bone's been there. Mm -hmm. It didn't bother me until a couple weeks ago. Mm. What we're going to do is we're going to go on a little fishing expedition, see if we can find this. Mm -hmm. okay. No, no. And I can almost imaginarily feel something here. I'm not sure if uh, this is the exact spot or not. We don't have in-office ultrasound. You, it was We were sent out for that, but it did show something. Mm -hmm. So That's see that little the spot upside. right there? Right yeah, you've turned it upside down. There you go. There you go. Right here's where I want you to aim. Oh, man. Poor Gumby. That's cold. That's cold. Little stick, my friend. Okay, you can stop. Like, seriously, guys, you're not going to let me see. Can you see? I can see now. You stinging a little bit there? Yeah, just a bit. Just okay. Breathe, breathe, breathe. That's all we're going to need right there. Hopefully. Look at that. You see that beautiful scoop technique I used right there? I almost want to feel right in there. We're going to make a little stick now, my friend. Hopefully you're not going to feel any pain. Mm -hmm. Gonzo, are you with me? Mm -hmm. Ow. You felt that? Yep. Really? Mm -hmm. I told you he was kind of weak, but I didn't think he was that weak. How's that? I broke my heart. I did the beautiful scoop job and then I didn't the second time. It wasn't very good. Here we go. We're going to try again. I can still feel it, but it's not as much. Shouldn't be sharp. You just feel pressure or? I can feel a little bit of cutting. Okay. There's no cutting no more. Okay. At least not moment, at the moment. So we're going to just uh, go in here and see if we can feel something. Okay. We're going fishing. Well, oh. Did you feel a little? No. Oh, you just got excited <laughs> about fishing, huh? <laughs> yeah. I was like, when did he feel something? I'll tell you what, I sure hope we get this. If we find it, you get to go on a date with Gumby, so... That's pretty. That's a pretty exciting deal right there. He said, "Okay, where are we going?" <laughs> yeah, you pay him though. <laughs> that's the question. Where are we going? <laughs> oh. Hey, he'll take you anywhere. There you go. And I think on the ultrasound they said it was like two centimeters. It's two centimeters. Mm-hmm. Wow. But two centimeters, which direction? That's the question. Yeah, so we're gonna have to keep feeling around in lots of different directions. Sorry, I couldn't get mom to come over here. It's too busy. She'll watch the video later. That's exactly what she said. And if you feel something, you let me know, because I'm really, I'm pushing in now, a little bit further in. Did you see the video of yesterday? Nope. Oh, that was the magenta, the magenta video yesterday, wasn't it? No, I got squirt in the face. <laughs> oh yeah, that one got uploaded last night onto the blog, didn't it? That got you everywhere, that was awful. Good thing I had my Superman shirt. Yes. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Did you oh, see that? Oh my God. Did you yeah. see that? Did you get that? Tell me you got I, that. Uh, she got it. Yes. What you do? We got it. Well, I was just grabbing things and moving around and kept thinking I was feeling something but wasn't sure and out came a giant toothpick. Cool. And it's totally for real. In it a minute, didn't take it long either. In a minute, I'm going to show it to you. Okay. It did not take long. Now, just to be on the safe side of things here, we're going to put you on some antibiotics, and we're not going to close this. I'm not going to stitch this shut. We're just going to put a dressing over this for you, so it might ooze a little bit overnight. Oh, okay. Look at that, folks. Oh, my goodness. Can you believe that's been in this man, young man's leg now for five years? Wow. I'm going to show him now. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> that's a big piece. Well, <laughs> In fact, we're so impressed with this, I think we ought to sell it on eBay. What do you think? I think we should. <laughs> well, the good news is you no longer have this big toothpick in your leg. The even better news is you get to go on a date with Gumby. <laughs> <laughs> well. All right, guys, thanks for your help. Thank you. You bet. Bye. So a few people have asked me about Meta7. Is it really made in the United States? 
Well, dang right it is. And most supplements are not made in the USA. This was formulated by Dr. Gilmore. You know him from Texas. You've been watching his channel. You're a subscriber. Then it was put together in Georgia on a facility in the United States that's GMP certified. You want to look for that. Um, there's a lot of supplements out there that are coming in from China and they're trash. They're not good. They don't deliver what they promise. The percentages aren't what they say on the bottle. This is the real stuff and you're getting high quality stuff made in the USA. It's checked, certified, and tested. Everything is exactly what, it, what it's supposed to be. So again, formulated by Dr. Gilmore to give you seven quality ingredients that'll boost your metabolism, make you feel better. You won't have that drowsy feeling in the afternoon. You won't have the jitters of caffeine. And made in the USA, vegan, non-GMO, GMP certified. It's good for you. Go ahead and order today. But yeah, it's the real stuff, folks and the ingredients are top level.